everybody, Nathan Johnson here. Welcome to my little apartment in New York City. I am going to be doing something I've never done before and I'm just going to show you a basic male makeup on myself. So for those of you who have already watched the videos, you're now seeing me with a completely clean face full of my dark circles and my red patches and everything else that I've got. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a really quick clean male makeup that just looks fantastic and can be done on any guy. Um, first and foremost, the thing you always want to do, you want to start with a little moisturizer. So we're going to dive in right away, tiny bit, because I'm about to go in with a whole bunch of other product, and I want to show you just how fast um, it is to put a, you know, a makeup on a man. You know, sometimes people are very intimidated by the male makeups, and sometimes people also think they require less than they actually do. It's a fine line. You want to use on a man what's necessary on a man to make him look fantastic for the medium in which he's going to be seen. And the first thing you always want to do 100% of the time is make sure that the skin is moisturized. And then beyond that, I go in right away to see where we have to be with the primer. This is one of my favorites, the Dermalogica H Smart Primer. It just does amazing things. It just evens the skin out really quick and e really easy sort of right away. And sometimes that's more than enough. Like you can already see the amazing um, smoothing abilities that it's given um, my skin just when I put it on one half of the face. It's immediately forgiving and it immediately evens me out. So I love what that does. It's something that I use on myself all the time and sometimes that'll be the only step that I do so that I don't look too done. But can you already see the difference as we sweep across? Granted, it's subtle, but sometimes subtlety is the key when you're working on a man. Now I'm going in here, I'm just making sure I get right up underneath my eye. Now I'm doing this on myself, so I'm, you know, being quick, quick and dirty, we're going to call it, quick and dirty, but um, this is the exact same makeup that I do on myself before I do every recorded appearance. And I'm going to show you the second step that I sometimes add, but that's one way to do a quick facial cleanup, and I'm sure you can already see the major difference that's happened. The next thing, and part of the place that um, amazing things happen fast, is if we do concealer underneath the eye. It's one of the one of the most major things that you can do on a man. Now my favorite concealer is Eve Pearl. It's the Magic Salmon and on me I use the light shade. It's kind of um, in my opinion, now notice I'm tilting my head forward because the dark circles leap out. In my opinion the Magic Salmon is a must-have. Now you're literally watching the dark circle disappear, right? Uh, the Magic Salmon is something, and there's always a little more of it right out here, only go where the actual darkness really is. Now, concealer, when you first put it on, sometimes has a little bit of a shine, but you can already see the difference that's happening in my face right there. Now, I'm going to tilt forward. I'm going to apply to the other side. Notice I'm not going below where the darkness is. The second you go below where the darkness is, and I'm getting that little bit at the outer corner, you cancel out what you've done. So you can see right now, I've actually just really cleaned up under my eyes. So what I'm going to do right away, because I want it to stay the way it is, and I don't want it to, to crease it all from the heat of my eye, so I'm going to take a little bit of my favorite setting powder, which is Cover FX's Setting FX, and I'm just going to take it, and I'm just going to really super light, taking up most of it off the brush. I'm just going to put a little bit on underneath my eye, so that what I'm doing will stay. And you're going to see, my, my face is tilted forward right now, so the darkness is you know popping through a little bit, which it always will do, because that's the, that's the way to get them to expose. But then when my eyes go up to normal, see, they're gone. They are completely gone. And my face is also really evened out. Now what I'm going to do is I want to show you how to you know, take the, take the skin one step further. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of something I've actually really been loving right now. It's um, Dr. Brandt's um, BB Matte Cream. It's awesome. It's, um, it's, got a, it's really highly pigmented. Like, you're going to see what this is going to do um, and how it's going to really take me to a, you know, a different place, um, clean, you, know, you know, in terms of the perfect skin. Now, you're going to notice I'm avoiding the place that I put the concealer because my half the work for me was done by the primer and I don't need to overdo it. If we overdo it underneath the eye, things start to look really plasticky. Now I'm noticing, you know, the areas where a little bit of redness is shining through. Getting those. Evening everything out. 
God, I'm teaching you all of my secrets. So there we go. On it goes. See, I'm just peppering it on ever so slightly, just giving myself an incredibly even skin tone. All the way up into the hairline, so that there's no... There, much cleaner. Now what I'm going to do is before I actually apply, I want, I, I like glow on the cheek, even on a man, um, when done appropriately. So I'm going to take a little bit of this, I know you've all seen them before, Tarte makes some, um, Tarte makes these and um, is sort of one of the master classes in them. I'm going to give myself a little raise and I'll apply some just to my cheek. Now, look, it's a little bold right now, but watch what I'm going to do. Covering it right on. You'll see it's a slightly different application than I do when I'm working on a woman because I don't need to build in as much. There, soften it, soften it, soften it. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is take a tiny bit of setting powder, my same setting powder, put it on a blush brush and just pepper it in. And then that's going to set it into my skin so that I just have a little bit of glow, a little bit of dewiness. And what you'll see is you're going to notice I don't, at no point is it looking like makeup's on. It's just looking like a really clean face, which is always the goal. Now, the very last step and the easiest thing, and the thing that you can sometimes leave off if a guy's afraid of it, a little bit, and I'm going to lean in for this, a little bit of mascara. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to give my lashes a little curl, open them right up, one, two, three, and one other side, and in we go, and one, two, three. Let me get that one more. And one, two, three. Nice. Okay, so that opens them right up. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tiny bit of mascara, and I'm just going to go in ever so slightly just to add depth and darkness to the lashes, let them become a little bit visible. Now, the reason you're noticing I'm doing it with the, with the wand, this is from my own personal... Everything I'm using here today is my own personal pre-appearance makeup kit. So it... Doesn't, um, I'm not contaminating anything because the only person it's ever used on is me. Now you're going to see I'm taking this and I'm just combing them through to make sure that there are no clumps. And also I'm combing the vast majority of it out. So really, literally, what's happening here is I'm just tinting my eyelashes. So we take that, we do that. I'm going to put a little bit of a, a lip shine on right here. There we go. And voila, a super clean male makeup done in under 10 minutes that you can do on any client just as fast or you can do on yourself. It changes everything, it makes you look like a million bucks, and it adds to your confidence. So have a lot of fun, and I can't wait to do another video for you really soon. Have more fun at QC, and take care. Bye-bye.